This video shows you how to calibrate an OxyGuard CO2 probe. You will need the following items. A calibration beaker with stirrer, a pH conditioner and a measuring spoon, a calibration fluid and a dosing syringe, a little screwdriver, distilled water, a piece of paper and a pen. Let's start with checking the instrument. Connect the probe to the CO2 analyzer and turn the meter on. It should show 0 or 1. Next step is to check the distilled water. Fill the calibration beaker with some distilled water. Half full is enough. Add one measuring spoon of pH conditioner. Stir until powder has dissolved. Stop the stirrer, place the probe in the beaker and start the stirrer again. When the reading is stable, after about 5 minutes, check the reading. If it's less than 20 mg per litre, the water is approved for use. Empty the beaker and rinse it with some distilled water. Rinse the probe as well. Fill the calibration beaker with distilled water. Half full is enough. Fill the dosing syringe with 1 ml of the calibration solution. Inject the fluid into the water in the beaker, put the probe inside the beaker and start the stirrer. When the reading is stable, you can adjust the zero adjustment until it displays zero. Stop the stirrer. Empty the beaker, rinse the probe and the beaker with the distilled water. We are now ready to proceed with the calibration procedure. Pour some distilled water in the beaker. Water should reach the upper part of the black ring in the middle of the beaker.
Add one measuring spoon of pH conditioner. Stir until the powder has dissolved. Stop the stirrer, place the probe in the beaker and start the stirrer again. Make sure that there are no bubbles under the probe. When the reading is stable, after about 5 minutes, write down the value. You will need this value later. Remove the probe from the beaker. Fill the dosing syringe with one milliliter of the calibration fluid and stir for 10 seconds. Stop the stirrer, place the probe in the beaker and start the stirrer again. Make sure there are no bubbles under the probe. When the reading is stable, write the B value down. Leave the probe in the beaker and keep the stirrer running since the calibration adjustment is to be made with the probe in, the, in this water. I can now calculate the calibration value and adjust the analyzer. First I need to calculate the U value. To do so, I'm going to multiply the A value with 50 and divide by the difference between B and A. This, the result is 2. Second step is to calculate the calibration value K. To do so, I'll add 50 to the U value which I got in the previous calculation. Write the number down. I can now adjust the slope screw until the displays shows the value. Stop the stirrer, remove the probe, discard the water in the beaker, rinse and dry the parts. Calibration is now completed. Please visit our website to get more information about our products.